Hey there, Sharon Hornell here. Rubbing coffee off. I can imagine that. I'm just thankful I have coffee. Happy Thanksgiving for all of those of you listening in the United States. It's uh, one of my favorite holidays. I haven't done hardly any cooking yet, so I'm going to hurry, speak quickly, and then get to cooking. And I'm going to forgive myself for not having cooked ahead of time this year. Lots going on in the family uh, and in life. So today, our tip and tool, our no-nonsense November tip and tool number 28 is practice forgiveness and our tool today is another workbook and i'm like okay you don't we don't want to do another whole workbook let's just talk about the key elements of the workbook and we could always look up a forgiveness worksheet or a forgiveness workbook if it's a bigger thing in our life if we have more things to forgive especially ourselves uh we could do that but uh it's up to you whatever you need you know what you need for your business but i'm gonna make the case for practicing forgiveness not only in our life, but in our businesses as well. I can't think of, and I haven't interacted with very many business owners in my lifetime and career, and it's been decades, that have not had somebody screw them over. Somebody hurt them, somebody damaged them, somebody steal something from them, somebody steal their intellectual property, somebody uh, steal their whole business out from under them. Uh, not that I work with a lot of uh, people that have been harmed, but almost all of us, if we live long enough and are in business long enough, we're going to have an unethical competitor or a somebody that joins our business or tries to partner up with us that doesn't have our overall best interests at heart. And they'll do something to hurt us or harm us or, or hurt our business or to hurt us personally. And at some point, we have to understand that forgiveness is a process that is for us to move on and heal from those hurts and those challenges that come up so that we make sure we don't have them impact us in the future. I've had some really horrible business partners <laughs> and not very many because I learned the lesson after each one. But the element that I was personally missing was that I needed to forgive them and let go of that and mostly forgive myself for selecting and allowing those people into my businesses and into my life because I forgave them and learned my lesson to not deal with and what to look for in future partners and future situations and future, uh, so in some instances, it was buying and selling businesses, uh, what to look for. But I forgave them, but I forgot to forgive myself for being the one or for the part that I played in that because everything is an exchange, right? So if I'm in a bad situation, nobody put me in that bad situation but myself, right? I made choices that led me down the wrong road and I got to forgive myself for that and move on if I don't want to make those same type of mistakes in the future in my business and in my life. So forgiveness worksheet or forgiveness workbook just includes doing a couple of things. Number one, identify the source of the hurt. What is causing me pain or resentment or upset or uh, feeling like I've been betrayed? What is What is the source of that? If it's a person, then we're going to go through the rest of the process with that person in mind. The second step of that is exercise empathy uh, and do some empathy exercises to try to put yourself in that person's shoes. Maybe they're in a desperate situation and they needed to steal from you or rob you. Maybe they needed to steal your intellectual property because they are not smart enough to create it themselves. I don't know what it is, but you want to exercise and do some empathetic things. Try to put yourself in their shoes and you don't have to agree with what they did. What they did was inherently wrong or you wouldn't feel hurt about it. But you have to just kind of have a, a idea of, well, what might have happened that caused them to be in that situation? And chances are you will give them more positive <laughs> reasons for doing it than they actually had in mind at the time. Uh, then we do, and I use this strategy sparingly, but I do use it where we write a letter and a, a practice letter, we never send it. I've never sent one of these, but we write a practice letter to the person that's harmed us, working through the emotions and explaining exactly the impact that it had on us and that we're going to we're gonna let it go. We're not ever going to forgive what they did, but we're going to forgive it so that we can let it go and not let it have any more emotional charge in our business and in our life. And then we're going to practice some letting go strategies. And we've talked about letting go of uh, past hurts and harms already this month but this is specifically with respect to forgiving somebody that that actually harmed us i mean maybe you had a bully when you were growing up uh things like that and 
some of that we carry with us and don't even realize it until we number one forgive ourselves for our our part in it because we always have a part in it if we have a bully that means we at some point we're playing the victim and allowing ourselves to be the victim therefore that's the part we have to forgive ourselves for i hope that makes sense or if a competitor stole our best customer we have to figure out okay what they did was wrong but what part did we play in that our best customer would go over to to our competitor right and maybe we just have to understand that stuff happens and we just need to learn to deal with it and learn what to look for and what not to look for in the future and forgive ourselves for being human and learning lessons along the way because we're all human we're going to all learn lessons along the way and that's the whole purpose of our life here is to become the best possible version of ourselves while we are building the best possible version of the company that it is that we want to build or the business that we want to build so i am curious how forgiving do you think you are as a, well not as an individual let's say like, that's how you're going to answer but as a business does your business have the ability to learn and grow and move on after uh challenges and disappointments and setbacks or things that people have actually done to your business to try to harm it i think it's important that we have a practice that we build into uh, we do it as part of uh I do it as personally end of the day exercise, but we do it in our businesses weekly. We have like a postmortem of, of the things that went well this week in the business and the things that didn't go so well. One of my friends does best, better, better, best, better, better, best at the end of the week for their meetings. I love that idea. We're going to try that in a couple of our businesses and see how that works because I think that's an incredibly positive way to look at the week, but it still allows us to pay attention to how could we improve on a situation how could we forgive how can we get over how can we prevent and put systems and things in place to make sure we don't get burned in the future that's always a very good use of our time that's why we have insurance right that's why we have contingency plans that's why we have uh lawyers and legal departments all right happy thanksgiving i'm gonna go cook up a storm if i can help you anyway ask i'll pretty much just be in the kitchen today Otherwise, have an awesome day and awesome Thanksgiving. A terrific Black Friday tomorrow, but you know I'll be with you, so we'll chat then. Have an awesome day.